Welcome to YoungHollywood.com. Hey guys, I'm here with Josh Sussman of Glee. We're here at the Golden Globe Gifting Lounge. How are you feeling today? Oh, uh, it's amazing. Like, everyone's pouring out so much love for the show. I know. And it's like, I remember when I just started, no one heard of it. Or, what are you up to? Where can I show Glee? Oh, never heard of it. Well, we'll start in September, you'll see. And now everyone, oh my god, it's my favorite show. I love you. Oh, can I touch your hair? And, uh, can I touch your hair? Of course. Okay. Ooh, soft, like it. right? It's very soft, so no product in the hair. No, it's all natural. It's all natural. You can touch it, it again if you want. You just let it go. Ouch! The independent polling company and my doctors has determined you're the hottest girl in this school. Ew. Have you been reading my blog? Of course not. You're a gossip monger and your blog is nothing but trash and lies. Many of them about me. You play the quirkiest character, I might say, on the show and one of the funniest. Thank you. Tell me how you actually first got the role. Originally it was supposed to be like just one episode uh -huh. and it was just like a jock in the celibacy club and uh -huh. just a horny guy. <laughs> and I get, Ryan Murphy was just like really generous and he expanded the part and gave me so much more to do. And the name was originally Randy Henkis oh and they changed it to Jacob Ben Israel, right. which I think is a little cool. Yeah, very cool. And I don't know, I guess they liked what I did, or uh -huh. Ryan had vision and he just said, I want to bring you back for another one. And then he made me let me be a Rachel Berry stalker. Oh my god, I love it. Isn't that the best role ever to be a stalker? How fun. It is, and I, I, people seem creepy, but I like to think I'm kind of endearing also. You are. It's like creepy endearing. Like, <laughs> like I don't want to have to blackmail her. If you just show me your bra, I don't have to do it. I don't, I don't want to ruin your life. <laughs> well, you'll be happy to know the one I'm working on right now has nothing to do with you or your rumored lust for a Jufros. It's about Quinn Fabray. Word on the street is that she's in trouble. Where did you hear that? Are you denying it? Yes. Because the same birdie told me you're heartbroken. Finn Hudson didn't choose you to carry his litter. What is it going to take for you to not run the story? So how was the chemistry with Rachel? It's really cool. Like I think, yeah, one time before just getting into character, getting before take, I said, hey, Leah, you got something in your eye. And she's like, what? I was like, oh, never mind. It's just a sparkle. <laughs> I love it. I'm sure she fell in love with you right away. I hope so. So I, I love Leah Michelle. I know. Mwah. Well, she has a lot of fans, and the whole cast, I mean, you guys are just getting so much attention. Have you been stalked yet by a fan? Have you felt that coming on since? I'm getting so many Facebook friend requests. And it's <laughs> from all these people I don't know. Uh -huh. It's very flattering, and it, it originally it was just friends, and then they write the most flattering messages. And uh -huh. But it's like underage, like 14-year-old girls. That's I gotta. Creepy. It is, and I don't know, and they write me inappropriate messages sometimes. Ooh, what's the worst one you've heard? Well, it's, I don't know, I want to F you, but uh, it's so oh, flattering, like, no one in my teenage years wanted to do that. <laughs> I, uh, out of curiosity, I was like, how old are you? She's like, 18, I clicked on her profile, she's a freshman in high school. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, not, good. not good. Yeah, so, how come this couldn't happen when I was in actual high school? I know. And now that I have this buffet of girls, the jailbait, jail underage, can't do it, <laughs> can't touch that. Now, what was your childhood like in being in, in high school? Tell us what your real life was like. I was lonely. You were lonely. Uh, no, I wasn't lonely. I was on the chess club, so as nerdy as you can get. Uh, and I'm a good chess player, so if anyone wants to play, like, yeah, pretty good. I'll take you down. Take you down. Yeah. What else were you in the club? Uh, I did drama. I did all this. I did school plays, and I did that. Played chess. Didn't uh, didn't really go on dates or anything. Right. It's kind of shy. Well, I mean, now you're just looking at all the people from high school saying, "Look at me now." You know what? This is the revenge, you know? Yeah, it's the revenge. Yeah. Are you sorry you bullied me, right? Wish you didn't push me into that locker. Huh. What are you doing now? Pumping gas? <laughs> no, that was probably, that was kind of mean. I you know, but half of the jocks from high school, you know what they end up doing. Yeah, they're working at McDonald's. Oh, yeah, Drinking I, beer. Oh, when I see their Facebooks, they're all fat and bald I now. Know. <laughs> so true. It's really and sad. And they write to me and they're like, sorry, I used to be mean to you in high school. So you're doing well now. Uh, when you're back in Jersey, we should get together. Are you kidding? Yeah, no, no, I'm not You're kidding. from Jersey? I'm from Jersey. Oh my God, Jersey Shore in the house, really. You need to meet Snooki. Snooki? What? She's like the little short Italian. She's crazy. She just dances and like, she lifts her skirt and she gets nuts. She's pretty crazy. Do you think it could be a good love match? Maybe. Do you think, what do you guys think? Snooki? What do you think? Snooki? I think it might work. Um, Snooki, if you're watching, find me on Facebook. Uh, you just search my name and, I don't know, we'll get a drink or who knows, eat sushi.
I have several sources reporting. Quinn didn't want to leave, but you kicked her out because of the pregnancy scandal. Well, Jacob, this is Ohio, and in order to win, my Cheerios need to appeal to that panel of judges. So if I have a pregnant girl doing a handspring into a double layout, the judges aren't going to be admiring her impeccable form. They are going to be wondering if the centrifugal force is going to make the baby's head start crowning. I want to know the first time that you ever met Jane Lynch. What was that like? You talk to people for the first time on camera, and she was, she was just so nice, and she's just funny and down to earth, and she's a real, her character's mean and nasty. I know, but, she's crazy. But in real life, she's so nice. She is so nice. And what is like maybe one of your best memories uh, from the first season? I love creeping Rachel out. <laughs> and oh, that time, that, there was a part where I said, I have an urge to kiss you right now, I'm gonna just go for it. Uh -huh. If she didn't stop me in back, we're like, Ew, I was gonna do it. You were and, gonna do it? And every time like I didn't do that part during the rehearsal and I was waiting during the take like I actually believed I was gonna get in there and she was <laughs> yeah so I'm gonna try before the show's over I'm hoping right. Jacob my character could get some Rachel Berry action so what can you tell us about the next season I know you guys are filming right now we're filming right now I've seen the first couple of scripts uh -huh. so I don't know too much but I know what I want to happen what do you want to happen I want Jacob to get with Rachel. I want Rachel to make Finn, she wants Finn, maybe to make Finn jealous, she'll start going out with me. And then Finn will be like, well, what's up with that? Uh, why is she with that guy? She should be with me. And maybe she'll want to get him so jealous and she'll be all over me and, and kiss him. And I also want to join the basketball team. Because football be season. Cool. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe I'll do it to impress Rachel, she likes. <laughs> but if not, maybe Jane Lynch could enlist me to help bring down the glee club. Why is Finn getting all the attention? I don't get that. He's a nice kid, but. I, I guess according to the girls, he's dreamy, and he's handsome and tall, and he's sweet and funny. I'm funny too, but, no, but I'm creepy, I don't know. So we actually went to Cory Monty's house, and we crashed his pad. Okay. And we worked out with him, and we barbecued. If I went to your house and crashed your pad, what would we be doing at your house? Uh, probably have a Connect Four tournament, take out the chess set, maybe a little bit of Scrabble. I know big words. Where do you live? Can you tell the fans right now where you live? I can't. What are, we talked about stalkers at the beginning. Yeah, like, this sounds like a trap. Are you going to stalk me? Maybe. Uh, somewhere in Los Angeles. Somewhere, okay. Fans, if you guys want to check them out, somewhere in Los Angeles. Where's your, what's your Twitter so you can tell your fans? Uh, yeah, Josh Sussman. Twitter.com slash Josh Sussman. J-O-S-H-S-U-S-S-M-A-N. Follow me. Hey Young Hollywood, uh, Josh Sussman from Glee here. Thank you so much for watching. Keep watching the show. It's only going to get better. Live long and prosper. All right. Mwah.